The next set of halachot is in regards to Erev Pesach, which is Monday morning. Racha says, Asur la'asot melacha be'erev Pesach, ahal hatzot hayom. One is forbidden to do work on Erev Pesach, Monday, starting from hatzot, which is around 12.30, 1 o'clock. One should already seize any kind of work. There are two reasons why we don't do work. One, so that the person is going to be working, he's going to end up uh, getting busy with work, and he's not going to prepare properly for the seder and for the matzot and whatever else is needed for the night of Pesach. Second reason, the time when there was a Beit HaMikdash, from Hatzot on was already the Korban Pesach. And therefore, the Pishya'az was man akravat Korban HaPesach, shafil b'chol yimot ha-shana, kol adam she'ekriv Korban la-mezbeach, oto ha-yom, yom tov shelo. It becomes the day of Yom Tov, the day that you bring a Korban. So therefore, since everybody had to bring a Korban on Eret Pesach, so therefore, starting from Hatzot on, which is the time that we bring the Korban Pesach, the person is forbidden to do work. And the custom is that they have a reading that they read for the Korban Pesach that the person could read. It. A lot of times it's in the beginning of the Mahzor and other, in other places. They sometimes have it in pamphlets, separate pamphlets that a person could read. And instead of bringing the Korban, we have Ushalema Farim Sefatenu, we read the Korban, we read about the Korban Pesach at this time. So therefore, one should plan properly the Monday afternoon that he should be off, that he shouldn't have to go to work. And again, if one has no choice, you may a person has no choice, he has no choice, but of course, it's always preferable that a person should put it into the system, that that's the time that he should have off, and it should be vacation time in order that he should prepare for the seder and for whatever else is needed for the night. In regards to hachanot, so there's things that a person has to make sure to take prior to hasot hayom. Taking haircuts and cutting nails. One should try to make sure that that is done on Erev Pesach prior to hatzot. Also again, one should not leave it for after, rather a person should do it earlier in, earlier in the day. Or like some hachanim tell us, and if you try to put it for the Erev Pesach, there's so many things to do, person won't be able, so therefore what the, the right thing to do is to do it earlier, a few days before, person could do it Erev Shabbat, or could do it on Sunday, and don't wait till the last minute, in order that a person shouldn't have to do it after Hatzot. One last thing is in regards to the Bi'ur Hamet, Bi'ur Hamet should be done, again as we said, also prior to Hatzot, it's done between the 4th and the 5th hour, between 10 and 11, 11.20 is the end. That's the time that we do the Bi'ur Hamet. A person could do it any time even before. If a person has to go to work, he could do it early in the morning. But once he does the Bi'ur, he could do the Bitum. As long as he doesn't have plans to eat anymore, he has no problem. So a person should plan that also into his day to make sure that he has time for the Bi'ur Hamet. Now, if one can do it, he could appoint a Shliyah to do the Bi'ur. And as we said... However, the bitur he should say himself, wherever he may be, even if he's at work, he's wherever he's not at home, it doesn't have to be where you are at home to be able to say the bitur, rather just make sure you have the words, whether it's in the, in the Haggadah or if you have just a printout. So you say the bitur wherever you are after the bi'ur is done.